Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite apps of all time, favorite jailbreak apps or apps period of all time has been updated. It is iFile 2.0 and this is very, very well done, folks. It is the iOS 7-fication, I guess you could say, the iOS 7 style iFile, the redesigned iFile to work and look with iOS 7. And trust me, as you can see here, it looks very good. Uh, what iFile basically is, is it is a file manager, sort of like the Finder for iOS. Basically, that's exactly what it is. It's the Finder for iOS. If you use a Mac or you use uh, Windows Explorer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This allows you to browse the entire file system of your iOS device. So you can go in and view images for certain apps. You can go in and change properties for certain apps. You can go in and see details, file attributes. For instance, here, look at all these, all this data for this particular files, such as access permissions, uh, last modif modified date that you can actually alter right there from within iFile. Uh, you can change the MIME type, or look at the MIME type at least. You can see the size, you can see the type, you can open with different apps. You can see the directory that the app or the uh, file resides in. So this folks is like a super power users tool. And even if you're not a power user, iFile is very beneficial just for those reasons I named. Uh, you can really go in and see behind the curtain, I guess you could say, uh, inside of iOS and really get a, a good grasp as to how iOS is structured, how it works. There's bookmarks in here. There's everything you could pretty much do with a finder. Obviously not everything, but it's pretty close. Uh, for instance, if I wanna go into the Google Maps app, the bundle for the Google Maps, I can view the images for Google Maps. I can alter plist values if I wanna go in there and look at the property list viewer and alter values that actually change the way, changes the way that the app operates and functions. You can do that with iFile. Now you probably noticed that I am running iFile on my iPhone 5S, a jailbroken iPhone 5S. I know most jailbreak apps and tweaks don't work with the 5S just yet, but since this doesn't rely on mobile substrate, it does work. Uh, that being said, you will not be able to purchase just yet until everything gets ironed out completely and that therefore you'll still get that little registration message even if you've already purchased iFile in the past like I've done uh, you'll still get that message but folks this is iFile reimagined for iOS 7 it is here it does work check it out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog